Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. It is Monday and I'm out at, you ready going to Target. Oh, it's been a weekend. My dad had his carpal tunnel surgery on his hand on Friday. We had to be there at 5.45 a.m., which meant I had to get up at four to get obviously myself and him and ready and out the door. Fortunately, I guess the good part about that is once we got there, there was nobody else there um, in terms of, you know, the parking lot. So after I pulled up, got him out into his wheelchair and in there, then I had to move the car and I was able to find a spot like right close by. So that was the one good thing. And we we're in and out of there pretty quick. This is the second time he's had a surgery. He had his pain pump put in um, uh, closer to the start of the pandemic, about like six months in. Um, and the thing is, is that they, they are fast now. It is all about getting people in and out versus, you know, how it used to be where, I mean, you would have to wait around forever. You know, they had all these procedures they had to go through. Obviously they've clearly like reduced the, um, process and that part is good. So I think we were home by nine, maybe. So he did really well. They just did local anesthesia. So they just numbed the hand. The only bad part is once the surgeon got in there and saw the nerves that he had to separate, he said it was so tight that he could not numb that part. So my dad did feel where the nerve had to be cut to open that up. Um, so that wasn't fun for him. But uh, had we known that, we probably would have chosen general anesthesia. But then at the same time, they are not doing elective surgeries for general anesthesia because the hospitals are full of COVID. So we would have had to wait longer. So the, I guess the one good thing is he doesn't seem to remember really that that happened. It kind of forgot about it now, which is good. But um, he's been resting comfortably. The hand had to be bandaged, of course, but we took the bandage off last night. I was supposed to leave it on until this morning, but he was so agitated by it that I took it off. Um, so I've been having to obviously help him, you know, with bathing and all that stuff. So that's fun if you've never had to help your father take a shower, but what are you going to do? Because he couldn't get the hand wet. So anyway, um, he can get it wet now. I mean, not soaking wet, but he's a little bit freed up more. But he's, you know, just resting and that's good. So his pain hasn't been bad. I've, he's only taken a few of the actual pain pills. Otherwise, I've just been giving him Tylenol and he's been doing really, really well. So hopefully this will solve all of the issues with his hand hurting so badly. So that's been the weekend. It was just a actually pretty leisurely weekend in terms of that because he was just resting a lot. So I just kind of tended to him and then stayed in my office and did work stuff. And it was just a quiet weekend. I got a lot done actually. Um, so that was good. So um, yeah, now this week I'm going to get my driver's license renewed tomorrow. I had to make an appointment, which is another thing I hope they keep for the pandemic. Because you choose the day and time you're going to go and then you just go and get it done. Instead of going and, you know, sitting and waiting and taking a number. So there have been a few things that they seem to have figured out during the pandemic that hopefully will stay just to make life a little easier. But that's on the agenda for this week. And then the dogs go to the spa. And then that's it for appointments. Um, so it'll just be cleaning and work and laundry because Teddy and Charlie were peeing all over the place all weekend in the house. It's so freaking cold. They don't want to go out, which I understand. And normally, you know, I can get them to go in the garage on papers, but then they come in the house. And if one does it, the other does it. And I'm not putting Teddy's belly band on him right now because that was agitating his skin. So yeah, if they get upset about something like when we were gone on Friday morning for a few hours, then they're like, mm, they're going to punish you and pee everywhere. So like Saturday, I was losing my mind because it was just lawn, non- stop laundry because I use those pads, those uh, puppy pads that are washable. <sighs> and yet, even when they use those, sometimes they'll miss. So I got to wash the pad, clean the carpet, clean, clean, clean. Just like, can I have a day where I'm not having to clean up dog pee constantly? It was just all day. But yeah, so that's, that's the update. We've had carpal tunnel surgery, dogs peeing everywhere. It's freezing cold and I've been doing nonstop laundry. So that's your update. Well, anyway, time to go into Target. I have to go in because we need some little garbage cans and that's something you need to pick out on your own. I don't even know if they would do that. Um, 
drive up pickup. But anyway, I'm gonna go get some garbage cans and a few other things in the freezing cold. Then go to McDonald's, get a frappe and go back home. My life is like Groundhog's Day. Every day is the same, but oh well. Oh, starting to get the spring and summer stuff out. Can you believe it? Oh, it feels like we're never gonna get there. Oh, but I know everybody's cold, isn't it? Is it cold where you are? Leave a comment below what state you live in. And is it cold? I'll go first, Iowa, it's cold. <laughs> oh my God, so cold. I do need a new front door mat, but I don't want one that says welcome. I want one that says go away. Go away, please. Thank you. The Christmas one is still out there now because it's too cold to go out and get it. Where are the trash cans? I am in the wrong section. Whew. Let's see here. This is the boring section. Nobody wants to be in this section. Well, nobody wants to be in the trash can section either, but what are you going to do? Laundry baskets? Is that also trash cans? That's just laundry baskets. Trash cans? There we go. All righty. Are these going to all be too big? That's in. Oh, there's some. That might be exactly what I'm looking for. Just some small ones. We have one in the living room. That's pretty much all I need, I think. Just one? No, I'm not sure. Now I'm confused. What are we going to do? I don't want to spend much money. $4 sounds like a good plan to me. I made my decision. I'm getting two of those. I know one is for the living room. And I'd like to get a little tabletop one. But I suppose that could do. How many was I supposed to get? <laughs> I wrote multiple, but now I'm not sure. That's not that's kind of weird to have on a tabletop. I feel like I've seen smaller ones. I don't know. Whatever. I'm bored. I'm bored of this. This is no fun, this aisle trash oh my god it's the baby yoda clapper clap on clap off oh they got the christmas story clapper we got bob ross figurines let's see what other fun things are just thrown around all over the store here hello kitty they're cute oh it's a big old honking gro or groot does he do something Oh my God, he's shaking. Um, okay, okay, bye. <laughs> he's just shaking uncontrollably. I don't know what I did. Oh, still going, okay, there he stopped. Okay, not sure what that was for. Garbage mail kids. Oh, that got cleaned out. It's always fun to see like what's gone. Kind of gives you an indication of, is it super collectible? Sportsies. And of course, nothing, everything's not where it's supposed to be, so you can't tell what price everything is. Is this all the same person? I don't know who any of those people are. I don't know what all this stuff is either. Well, I mean, I know what Star Wars is, but I don't know. I don't know. Tiny Turkins. Is that like wood? That seems kind of like a lot of money. Or kind of a weird thing if it's just paper. I don't know what that is. Why am I looking at it? What's Barbie up to? She's at the spa. She's doing yoga. Let's see. More yoga. Now she's painting. Now she's washing dogs. Why does Barbie have a better life than I do? Like seriously. What's she doing over here? You can be anything. Oh, the figure skater. Oh, that's cute. And snowboarder. Kayaker. Oh my. What is that? I don't know what she's doing there. Make some kind of dough. What is she doing? Cookie dough? I have no idea what that is. Oh my God, Barbie self-care. 
Well, I guess you could get a Barbie and play with her and that would be kind of like self-care. Oh, she's even a dentist. They didn't have this much when I was a kid. They had like a kitchen table and a refrigerator, which I had and I don't think I have anymore. And why didn't I keep all that stuff? Oh my gosh, look what they have. <gasps> How fun. Who else had one of these as a kid? Oh my gosh, I love that. It is $19.99. We've got Lightbrite and Etch-a-Sketch. All the good fun stuff. Crystal Secrets. Svavarsky. Oh my gosh. I can never say that. Swarovski, Svavarsky. It's like Worcestershire sauce. What? Are they real? With crystals. Hmm. What do you do? I just make... Oh, it's just a... That was like a magic thing. No, just make a bracelet. Oh my god, and they have Dippin' Dots. I love Dippin' Dots. I've only had them once in my life because... That's the only time I ever saw any, but they are so good. And cotton candy? Chocolate pen? Wow, I've never been in this aisle before. So cool. Pottery studio. I had one of those when I was a kid. Dang thing didn't work. Roll on glitter tattoos and braiding bracelets. Nail art. Dang. What's the age limit on this stuff? <laughs> This stuff looks so fun. All right, here's some mini brands. So the Disney mini brands are dropping on February 15th. You can pre-order them at Target.com, except you can only pre-order two per order, and they only ship with a $35 order. So yeah, I had to do like a bunch of smaller orders to get two each. So I just like ordered all my, um, what is that? Like health and beauty stuff stock up on it oh my gosh that is so cute what does this thing do fully functional oh my gosh that is so funny i was remembering last night you know i i begged my dad for atari when i was a kid and then one sunday i woke up and he was reading the sunday paper in the jc penny ad and in the jc penny ad it had that ataris were on sale and so he said so we can go get one and that was like the best day ever because my dad was very 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 frugal and of course back then you didn't get presents unless it was christmas or your birthday so to get something like that when it wasn't a holiday thanks jc penny for having that on sale <laughs> more of these clips Oh, they got a lot of princess stuff. And... Littlest... Oh my gosh, it's li real little shoes. What are these? Are they name brand? Micro shoes. For a while they were, um, Skechers. I don't know. What's this? Years of Ears, eight exclusive figures. Well, that's kind of fun. Will you find a bonus figure? And those are $14.99. Let's see. The Disney backpacks. Get some big old lips. Real littles, real little. They've still got these, um, advent calendars out just kind of funny I think I've got all the marts I've got I had the advent calendars I actually got that in the mail they're the mini brands toys I want those freaking mini brands Disney because there's like three different Grogu things in them and I better get it it better come Is Grogu in these? I don't think he's in these. No. I don't know if these are collectible or not. I mean, I, I think they are. They're ones that are. Something I'm going to look for when I'm out at garage sales this summer. Like, people that, you know, bags of these just, like, loose. Because, you know, kids get them and then they just get tossed in a pile and people put them out at garage sales. Tag along 
Mickey Mouse. Shake them. What's the point? Clip it onto a bag. There's only three. <laughs> That's a small collection. How nice is this? It's the Barbie Rosa Parks. Oh my gosh, I love that. She is $29.99. got some puzzles, Black History Month, the strong me, but the Rosa Parks Barbie? I think I have to get her. Well, I was looking for some French toast sticks. They don't have any. And then I was going to get more of the mini tater tots. They don't have any tater tots of any kind. <gasps> They're completely out. No tots and no toast sticks. Look at all the fun Valentine's Day treats they have. Got brownies, cookies, cupcakes, sugar cookies. This is the regular stuff. Those are really okay. See this this worries me. It's cream cheese, yet it's not in the refrigerated section. What's going on with that? So you've got a trio cookies and cream and regular how cute are these are these squishmallows i know there are people that are like insane for squishmallows is that a pug squishmallow meet bronk bronk is an all-star athlete um i'm not sure about that <laughs> kelly toy is that a pug or is a bulldog sometimes it's hard to tell well, who's going to be getting slippers this year? This is for those of you with husbands who are going to come to Target on February 14th. Um, before they go home, they're like, oh my God, oh my God, I'll get her some slippers. And they'll buy you the wrong size and you'll be like, oh, great. Thanks, hon. <laughs> that's how that's going to play out. Definitely selling out of a lot of the Valentine's Day. Ooh, that looks good. Flowerless chocolate torte. Or... Molten lava cake. Gotta love Godiva. Boy, this Dash Company is making bank. Mini Bundt Cake Maker for $17.99. You have a whole kitchen with nothing but these things in it. Ooh, that's pretty. Nordic Ware. Oh, how about this? It's a donut making pan. Silicone. Well, that's clever. And a giant thing of Nutella. Definitely getting down to the end of Valentine's Day. These, I tried these. These are nasty. I thought so. Maybe you like them, but I did not. We are going to get to the Easter candy, which, by the way, <laughs> my store is already putting out. That's a yes. What else? Where are the cream eggs? Oh, yes. Cream eggs. More random Valentine's Day stuff. It's the friendship exchange with Chewy Hearts. That's cute. Everything's just so cute and picked over. <laughs> How funny is this? It's a dinner date. Milk and white chocolate, state broccoli and a strawberry. Oh brother, nine bucks. And then this one, you're the burger to my fries, all chocolate. It's kind of cute. Good man gift chocolate cake slices and a banana. There's another one that's all picked over. Got some dots. Sour punch. Skittles. When I got those Skittles after Christmas and those things, they were so stale. That was a big fat no on my, for me. Did not like that at all. I still have Christmas candy left. Like I'll just wrap up some Christmas candy for my dad and be like, Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Here's the leftover Christmas candy. Bath bombs. Hmm. I think that's about it for my store. Oh, here's an end cap of Easter. Let's see if we can find anything else interesting. Cotton candy peeps. More than, look how many of the eggs have already sold. Is there going to be an egg shortage? Do I need to stock up now? I don't know. Now I'm starting to panic. All right. 
Of course, I had to stop at McDonald's for a frappe for Papa. Hi, boys. Oh, is somebody behind the door? Oh, hello. Hi, Dad. Hi. I got you a frappe. Okay, thank you. How you doing? I'm giving a treat to the boys. Oh, do they deserve one? Absolutely. Did they have one already this morning? Oh, Dad. Do you want me to give it to them? Sure. Okay. You're good boys, aren't you? How you feeling? Okay. Okay? But not really. Not really? Need to lay down a bit? No. No? I got a big... Okay. Big for you. Okay, project. Oh, great. All right. The big project my dad wants me to do is thread a needle because he found something that need to be, needs to be sewn up. So I guess I will be sewing something up. He's not going to sew it. Um, I did some eBay auctions this past week, or they all ended on Sunday. I did film an eBay video that's going to be going up on my other channel. So make sure you're subscribed to that. But um, all but two auctions ended with bids. Three people paid yesterday and two more people paid just now. So this lot of dollhouse furniture, it's like white wood. Um, sold for $32.50 and then this one which was some dark wood pieces went for um, $21.50 and the buyers paid shipping on those. Waiting for the person to pay for this G.I. Joe lot goes with the play set that I'm not going to sell because it's too big and bulky and then I had to put Herky and this Pepsi cooler I relisted and um, new auction but then put a buy it now because I don't want I don't want to have inventory that's just sitting around. I want auctions to move stuff out if I'm going to list it. But because I had so many auctions ending yesterday, eight auctions, and um, they were kind of big, and I had to, you know, it was going to take a while to ship, I didn't put any new ones up. These two are up, but I'll get some things together over this week, hopefully, and put up for next week. But again, I'm just trying to clear some stuff out, stuff I can't take to the consignment store, stuff I really don't have no attachment to. I don't want to just hoard it, um, but it does have some value. Um, so putting up some auctions here and there when I can, but at least I can get these two um, shipped out for tomorrow. Well, okay, everyone, you get to end the vlog with um, me in my bed looking at my <laughs> salt lamp and my essential oil thing is over there. You can't see it because the fan is there. Yes, I have a fan going and a ceiling fan because it's cold, yet I get into bed and I'm hot because I'm old and that is what happens to you. And if you think it's not going to happen to you, it's gonna. I never thought that this would happen to me. And then one day you are burning up from the inside out for no reason. So you're all young and cute now, but it'll get you eventually. But anyway, I did want to end this video. Um, if you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Questions, comments, hellos, emojis, all good things. They help with the needy YouTube algorithm. And um, yeah, of course, make sure you're subscribed. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.